Well, this is a Norway spruce, and we dig a lot of these. They're a good landscape tree. They're not as great as a Christmas tree unless you get them right before Christmas and take real good care of them. They lose their needles uh, somewhat quickly, but if you cut the tree and keep it in water and get it in the house and keep it watered, it'll, it'll be a suitable Christmas tree. And over here we have white pine. Uh, it's another good landscape tree, but they're also a good cut Christmas tree. They uh, hold their needles well, have a nice fragrance, not a lot of fragrance, but uh, some. And uh, some people like them, uh, but they're soft. They don't have a prickly foliage, but they're a little bit limber. They, they don't hold ornaments as well as the spruce or the fir. Over here we have a canane fir. This is a small one. They are native to West Virginia. Uh, the seeds are harvested at Canane Valley and um, raised here locally. And then we buy the seedlings and they make a really good Christmas tree. This is one of our best ones. Good fragrance, good needle retention. Um, stiff enough to hold an ornament. So we have plenty of those. The blue spruce is a really nice tree. They've got a decent needle, a really good needle retention. Um, again, watering is essential. Um, the, the, the worst thing with the blue spruce, the needles are a little bit sharp. But again, there's, there's benefits, pros and cons and everything. Depends on how you want to look at it. A lot of the mothers will say, I can keep the children away from it a little better. The cat doesn't bother it quite as much. Um, you know, so just like everything, every tree, just like every person has a personality, you know, so does every tree. And it's got its attributes and its downfalls. And, and uh, you know, that's why we offer a variety. We have uh, about seven different species. Um, and, you know, people like them short, tall, fat, skinny. Again, that's a nice thing about this. There's, you know, something for just about everybody. Most of your pines have excellent needle retention. Um, again, to keep it fresh, though, you always take a fresh cut off of it, plenty of water. Um, but they have great needle retention. So the best thing to do is take a quarter inch cut off of it, put it in the stand, and before you do anything else, fill the stand full of water. And never let it run out. If you let it run out one time, same thing. The sap comes down there, seals off 60, 70% of it, so now it's going to drink water a whole lot more constricted, a whole lot less. The more water you can give a tree, the, the fresher it's going to stay, the more aromatic it's going to be. And the nice thing is whenever, you know, the nice thing about a choosing cut, when you watch it fall over, you know it's as fresh as it can be.